920, a new book features 35 people of all ages, backgrounds, and professions sharing the moment they could no longer watch from the sidelines but knew they had to become involved. It's called The Moment, Changemakers on Why and How They Join the Fight for Social Justice, many of them under 30 years old. It is written by New York Times bestselling author and Evanston native Steve Pfeiffer. He joins us now live. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning, Larry and Robin. Happy to be here. Thanks for being here. You know, let's get right to it. You, you interviewed 35 different Americans, many under the age of 30, and you highlight uh, a lot of them, some from Chicago. Let's start with Anthony Tamez Poschel. Right. He's uh, young, in his early 20s. He's Native American, and he grew up in a family of activists, as he calls them, aunties, who were really his mothers. And uh, he had his first real moment when he was 12 years old and spoke to a large crowd about a pipeline that was on native lands and they were protesting that. And he got the bug, realized he had the power by telling stories to be an activist and has become very involved in Native American affairs. Uh, he's become a leader in the Chicago area for getting a community garden, for healthy eating for Native Americans. And he spoke to representatives from Illinois when he went to visit Washington, and he realized that they didn't know enough about Native American affairs, so he decided to actually join the government, and he now works for the city of Chicago advocating for Native Americans. Uh, this next gentleman has been on our show. I know, I know he had a book that was really fascinating. Christian Picciolini, a uh, former neo-Nazi. Right. He's uh, from the Chicago area at the age of 14 as a very disaffected young man, uh, was approached by a leader of the skinhead movement in Chicago and joined the movement. And as he probably told you, did some things that he really regrets. He tried to get out of the movement and he became a uh, computer technician. And one of his first assignments, ironically, was at the high school where he had been kicked out and had been involved in fighting the uh, African-American security guard at the school. Hmm. And he ran into that security guard when he was back there as a computer technician, apologized, and the technician said, don't worry, uh, the security guard said, don't worry about it, just tell your story yeah. to help other people get out of the movement. So that was Christian's moment and ever since then, he's been telling his story and trying to deprogram people who've become radicalized or become skinheads. Let's talk about Renee Montgomery. Yeah, she's a wonderful example, Robin. Uh, she's a all-star from the WNBA, a uh, champion from the WNBA. And after George Floyd was murdered, she decided to take the season off to work for social justice. Her moment was in Atlanta where she was on the Atlanta Dream when she saw the protests that were going on, peaceful protests, and decided she wanted to join. So she got very involved there, uh, was involved in getting voters to turn out for the elections down in Georgia. And the team owner at that time was Senator Kelly Leffler who was pushing back against the protests. And after the season was over, there was a, a, a movement to get Kelly Leffler to give up the team. And Renee became part of the leadership and team ownership that took over the team from Senator Kelly Leffler. Well, Steve, we thank you for sharing their stories. For more, you can check out the moment-thebook.com. You can also follow Steve on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you.